demo we're going to show you how easy it is to use Evil Jinx tool to capture a user's session who's signing into Entra ID. So um, our, our user that we're going to be testing with is a fake user. Her name is Grace Hopper. And to start off with, to kind of set things up, um, this is conditional access, which is in Entra ID. This is how you can kind of configure different MFA policies. And we're just going to go in and enable a policy that just enables MFA in general. It's not strong MFA, it's basically legacy MFA factors. Um, it's just going to be Grace that's enabled. And if we look at the what's been granted for, for this, is just regular multi-factor authentication. This is what most organizations have hopefully turned on for their users. just want to show you that this is easily defeated by our uh, Evil Jinx tool. So that uh, policy has been turned on. Over here, um, I've got a browser that the uh, the victim is going to, Grace is going to be using. Um, and then I've got a server here that's running Evil Jinx. So I've turned on Evil Jinx. I notice I've got a bunch of fishlets. This one here is for Microsoft 365. And then um, I've got some lures. These are the things that actually generate the URLs that the user mistakenly clicks on to get fished. We've got one set up for that Microsoft 365 uh, fishlet. So I'm going to uh, get the URL for that particular lure. Here it is. Copy that. And we'll drop that into a browser simulating Grace accidentally going to this link. She thinks she's signing in. So notice right away, Evil Jinx detects that the new visitor is there because this 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 domain and this server is actually pointing at this server here. It's not really a Microsoft. It's being reverse proxied. So Grace is going to type in her uh, email address, thinking that she's actually signing into Microsoft. She'll enter a password because again she thinks she's actually signing in. Notice that Evil Jinx has captured her password already. But uh, you know, she's got the MFA policy turned on. Uh, by default, it's asking you to use the uh, code in the Microsoft Authenticator app. Um, she like, likes to be a little more secure and actually have the, the Microsoft Authenticator app actually send her a notification with a number match. If we open up our phone here, we can see that we've got an approve request. To do that, so we open up the uh, Microsoft Authenticator app, enter in the number match, do the biometric, and we're signed in. And there we go. We get sent to a you've been hacked YouTube video. Now, of course, a real attacker probably wouldn't do that, but it just makes the point. So what actually happened if we go and look at um, the sessions that have been captured by Evil Jinx, we see that there's a recent session. Turn that off. Uh, 145, if we look at that particular session, we can actually grab the actual session cookie or cookies that uh, came back from Microsoft. So copied that. All we have to do then, this is a separate browser window that is uh, a different profile. If I go to Microsoft 365, try to sign in, you can see I have no session yet, but if I use this uh, extension here to drop in the cookie data that I just captured, and then I go back to Microsoft 365 and sign in again, my session is already there. And in fact, I can also go to my sign-ins page. With this, Grace Hopper, I can actually go in and uh, change her password if I want to. I can add a new sign-in method if I want to. I can even remove her other uh, authenticators. So completely taking over her account with this approach.